Welcome back, good viewer. This is the Skyrider, and after last time's uh, <laughs> ir irritating efforts, shall we say, oh good, we get to start this episode off with a damn spider. Come here, beastie. Yeah, hiss at me, why don't you? Ooh, extra monies. I knew I didn't. I'd uh, forgotten something. Ooh. Excellent. Good. 1560. Okay, good viewer. Hopefully, I'm hoping, uh, in this episode, with our supplies rather running low, that we'll be able to um, get to the Keeper's Grotto and uh, the fire elemental, good viewer. Which was, um, which you can shoot water arrows at to get fire arrows, and since you need fire arrows to finish this mission, fire arrows are good. Uh, I was wrong when I last time I said that um, you can only find them in the down in the bone horde mission. Uh, but uh, I was wrong. Um, right, no, been there. I know I need to head because you remember that drawbridge last time, good viewer. That's where we need to go. Yeah. Hmm. You know what, good viewer? I think I've made a mistake. <laughs> that uh, damned. Uh, continuity thing. I think I've al probably already picked up this ring uh, in the last episode. Meaning I picked up a piece of loot which I didn't mean to pick up. Uh, damn. Sorry about that, good viewer. Um, but uh, thankfully this is more of a let's play than a walkthrough, so uh, hopefully that won't ruin your viewing experience. I apologise if that was the case. So, now for what I feel to be the most disturbing part of this mission. If I may take on an ominous tone momentarily, good viewer. Oh yeah, there's a little bug here, good viewer, with the, this unlocking of the door. It's just a little sound thing. Um, you can't hear the unclicking of the locks, but there. Um, that's made me jump on more than one occasion, I must say. Um, that... Uh, door just um, unlocks and uh, you, know, you hear the unlocking noise but not really much else. Right. Now I don't want to have to spend longer than I have to here, good viewer. Behold. Some sort of isolated mansion. Now, ooh! Yes, I forgot about this. Um, key under the doormat. I don't want to have to spend longer than I have to here, good viewer reasons that will become all too apparent in a moment. It's very creepy, this bit. Come on, you bastards, where are you? I know you're here. <laughs> yeah, there they are. Here, you good viewer. You will see the most creepy enemy in this game. Hammer haunts. Creepy looking bastards, aren't they? Very, very powerful, very dangerous, and quite scary, it must be said. Whatever you do, good viewer, don't engage them. You don't have the tools to do it, and, you know, quite frankly, you're doing it wrong if you try to engage them. Um, however, it is in this house where the Serpentile Talk resides. As long as you shoot some moss arrows, this is the only real use for moss arrows in this mission. Hear that whispering. You know what, screw it, I don't even want to risk doing anything with them anymore. With the rattling of the chains and the whispering. Very creepy. Um, Holy water, not that that's much use. Yeah, you don't want to risk um, being discovered by these guys. You can see some light switches around. For the love of God, do not turn those on. <laughs> there is no need, and you can do this quite easily without the light switches. Darkness is your friend. 
Serpentile Talk and 2000 Loot, good viewer. We've got it. Now it's time to get the hell out of here. Careful. For both these guys to go past. Thankfully, they uh, always follow exactly the same route. Creepy, it must be so good here. Okay. Let's get out of this place, good you. Goo, dear. <laughs> the thief developers know how to create their atmosphere, I'll tell you that. Okay. But that is uh, the Serpentile Talk, good viewer, in that chest in that bedroom. Just don't turn on the lights, uh, react to the appropriate patrols of those hammer haunts, and you'll be fine. Right, good viewer, it's time to end this damn mission once and for all. Do -do -do -do. Uh, yes, it has been a bit of a nightmare, really, um, this mission. You know, with, what with that zombie killing me last time, and, uh, uh, which is not only embarrassing, but also irritating. However, we move away from zombies and on to Keeper stuff for this last little segment here. Rope arrow. Okay, now, yeah, what's in this chest? Ugh. Yeah, as I said, Gujira, just those, it's, it's, as I've said about this mission time and again, it's getting the loot that's the problem for me, always has been. More holy water. Um, yes. So it's getting the loot that's the damn problem. Um, and getting, you know, 2,000 loot with loot just so, so spread out in this place is no mean feat. However, this is the Keeper Grotto. And now let us go back to a time and remember what it was that the eye told us. The keepers have sealed the door, and only they know how to open them. Cross you the bridge to the grotto of the keeper's symptom. Stand you on the pedestal and illuminate the statue. There we have it. So, the trick here, you must make sure, ooh, healing potion, uh, you must make sure you're standing on this lock here, the symbol of the keepers, and you see that statue over there? This is what the fire arrows are for. You light up the torches, one of the few times in any thief game where you want to use light to your advantage. I don't know if I've explained this about fire arrows before, good viewer, but watch it. You'll see it fly straight. Uh, I'm not actually going to shoot this, but like basically you want to aim... Normally you would aim and like try to compensate with a fire arrow, um, or with a, with a normal sort of arrow, for the arc, you know, sort of going up, and then sort of going to gravity and going down. Fire arrows, however, will just shoot straight. They won't dip at all. Uh, so you want to aim sort of at the top of the of the sight, so to speak, uh, in order to get the clear shot. However, shooting that has opened up this place. Now, an important note, good viewer. This must be the last thing you do. If you haven't got all the loot or all the 
or the Serpent I'll talk or put the keys on the watchman's grave uh, the coins on the watchman's grave or anything if you come here first you won't be able to go back um, so make sure you do everything else before you come here because uh, otherwise you'll have to restart the entire thing looks like this place was built by my old pals the keepers I wonder what they're hiding in here so this is a uh, this uh, bit here it's more of a puzzle solving bit than anything else what you want to do as you can see one thing opens the door the other opens the grate so what you do is you take pieces of the broken statue weigh that down and then step on the thing for yourself and then run through but that then closes behind you however thankfully we've done everything else so we're able to do able to do that um, right now just walk right down the center here because uh, as you can see there booby traps those sorts of six sort of tiles there tile the ever-present enemy and now good viewer for a viewing experience like none before oh dear the wall it's moving towards us unlock the door yeah this is uh, the most tense opening lock opening in the game good viewer we've got to uh, open the thing against the clock which is quite doable. Come on, come on. And run. There, see, look, we had plenty of uh, room uh, before the thing crushed us to death. But, uh, still. And here we are in the Keeper Library. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. Any books? as one would expect from keepers. Let's have a look at these notes. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to work out which one to read first. Eh, let's go for this one. Keeper Lucas. We have received word of your fears, and we understand and indeed share them. We did not likely take the decision to involve ourselves in this matter. However, we believe that we were compelled to act. Were the trickster not opposed, he could bring destruction upon the entire city and upon us as well. We have endeavoured to conceal our efforts as best we can. We can only hope that we have been successful. Yours in knowledge, Keeper Andrus. And the corresponding part. Keeper Andrus, we are relieved to hear that you have successfully contained the destruction. It was for just such a contingency that the elemental wards have been saved these many years, and we support your decision to use them now, as the peril that you have described is grave indeed. We urge you to hide the talismans with great care, as their discovery could lead to another such catastrophe. We worry also that your actions have exposed the truth of our existence to the world, which we must not allow. Yours in knowledge, Keeper Lucas. Intriguing. Key here. Let's have a look. So this is what the eye meant when it said the secret of the talismans. city. That's, uh, that's actually a very good image, good viewer. I'm going to see if I can try and uh, put one in uh, into the editing. Let's have a read of this book. Upon this map are the locations of the elemental talismans, which alone can unlock the wards placed upon the cathedral door. Their locations are recorded here in the event that we may one day find it necessary to re-enter the cathedral. 
The portal key in the library must be used to access the lost city entrance, where the talisman of fire is being kept. The water talisman has been hidden in a shrine located in the caverns below the old quarter of the city. The talisman of air is being kept by the Hammerites, and the earth talisman was left to the Hand Brotherhood. Get the portal key out of the Keeper's library. Hmm. So, we now no longer need to exit the, the ruins, thankfully. Um, but can rather just grab this key and move on to the next mission. So, shorter episode, good viewer. Much shorter, but, um... Uh, at least I, I always seem to say that and then it turns out to be, you know, like 20 minutes or something, but uh, shorter sort of episode compared to the last one um, but we will uh, see what happens next time now that we can finally finish this damn mission off so we now know where to find the talismans and where to proceed on the next stage of our journey and I must say, good viewer, the talisman missions, among my favourite in the game. Uh, not all of them, but many of them are, are just very brilliant and all have, well in fact they all have very good qualities to them. So I really enjoy them. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Skyrider. Farewell until we meet again.